Cool. Oh, my phone. You probably shouldn't do that with the wire behind me. <laughs> Amanda the CMA here again. If you are a returning viewer and hopefully a subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I talk about anything and everything medical assisting and beyond. So today is Thursday. I am actually going to Florida tomorrow and I live in the Midwest as most of you know. As you can tell, I have not prepared dermatologically for this trip. I still have my winter whites. If I don't post a video right away, I'm probably just so red that it's just not, not okay. Not okay. YouTube, YouTube videos, videos are forever. forever. And, who, and wants who wants to forever, forever look red, 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 red on a YouTube, on YouTube video? Like anyway, today what we are talking about is order of draw when it comes to blood draws. So with blood draws, you can't just draw any old tube whenever you want to, or at least you're not supposed to. Sometimes I just cheat because I don't, I don't know, the lab is never, they've never, uh, they've never yelled at me for it, so that's probably, but I didn't say that. So when you draw blood, you have to do it in a certain order. And luckily in the medical field, somebody had the brilliant idea of coming up with an order of draw by color. So they're actually by color. So you don't have to read them before you try and draw the blood. The first question is, is why does it matter which tube goes first? And the second question is, what order do they go in? What order do they go in? The reason that there is an order of draw is because one tube to the next, you want to make sure that none of the chemicals from the first tube get into the second tube that would affect those tests. And it goes down the line to which one is acceptable to draw after the one before it. So we do have a couple tubes to go over. As I've told you guys before, I can't really get any medical supplies from my work. However, I do know a person that could get me a little bit of supplies. So I do have all of the tubes with me so I can show you guys and I'll show you a close-up of each tube as we go. So we'll start at the beginning. I will tell you all of the tubes and what they are used for. So keep watching. Let's get started. All right. So getting started, the first tube we're going to talk about is one, it's called the sodium citrate tube. It is a light blue top. So this one is a light blue top. It's got a little bit of liquid down at the bottom. What these tubes are used for is actually for coagulation labs. So we're checking a prothrombin or a prothrombin time. We're checking for a prothrombin, <laughs> I can't even say it right, a prothrombin or a prothrombin time. <laughs> usually we don't say the whole thing. We usually just say PT or PTT. Oh my god, I'm so nuts. So that is pretty much what that tube is for. These next ones that I'm going to show you, there are two different ones and they're both a royal blue color. This is where I kind of ran into issues when I was looking it up. So I got confused and I couldn't really figure out which one goes where in the order of draw. So the one that I found was the royal blue with no additive in it. This is supposed to be the second part of the draw. What this is really looking for is metals. So we're looking for copper, lead, anything like that. Sometimes we use it for medications that we might be looking for in patient's blood. Now that's why I had a question too, because if you look at the other tube, which is also a royal blue color this one also does the same thing so this one also does metals and it can do toxicology but you know what i'm not a phlebotomist i have no idea and when you're a medical assistant you'll know which tubes you're supposed to draw it, it, it that's just how it is this tube is very very helpful to us with a lot of different things this is a red top tube. Now this tube is very, very old school. So the red top tube has 
pretty much nothing in it. So this one goes along with the next one that I'll be showing you guys. When all the solids clot in the tube, then we put it in a centrifuge. If you don't know what a centrifuge is, that is something that's kind of like the ride at Disneyland that goes in a circle. It's like the teacups. I think ours goes 3200 RPMs. I don't know. It goes really fast and it makes a lot of noise. That's what I know. So the next one that we have is the serum separator tube. So I'll show you a picture of that up close. The bottom has this little yellow gel. With this tube, we're actually able to draw so many different labs. This is literally gold in a tube. This is, this is the gold tube. This is like bread and butter almost to any clinic. With this tube, the gel down at the bottom is actually a clotting agent. So it helps the blood clot faster. And then we put it in that centrifuge that I had talked about before. And what it does is down at the bottom, you'll actually see a bunch, just a solid red area. And that solid red area is going to be all of the solids from the blood. Then after that, you will actually see this gel right here, and it will be the second layer that will be about right here or so. And then on the top part, you're going to see all of the liquid part of the blood or the serum. So this is the serum separator tube. That is why they call it the serum separator tube. The next one that I will show you is called the lithium heparin tube. It is a dark green top tube. This is next in the order of draw. I literally have barely any idea of what this tube actually does. Now what I found online is that this tube just has to be transported, transported. This tube just has to have the test done as soon as possible, but it didn't specify which test it was that actually had to be done as soon as possible. This one is called the PST gel and lithium heparin tube. The plasma separator tube, and it is very, very similar to the serum separator tube, so that gold tube. So I'll show you both of them up close here. This is actually my favorite of all tubes. This one, you're able to draw the patient's blood and literally just put it in the centrifuge. You don't have to wait for it to clot. I was not introduced to this until we got a new lab at my current job, which was about a year ago. And when they told us that we could use this plasma separating tube, I was through the roof. I was like, I don't have to wait for it to clot anymore. What kind of godsend is this? So this is like the Jesus to me. This is the Jesus. So that is the plasma separator tube. The next one that I have on my list is called the K2 EDTA tube. And it is a purple tube. It looks like this. With this, with the blood draws, we use this mostly for complete blood counts. We use it for hemoglobinopathies. So this is any type of hematology study where we're counting actual blood cells, platelets, anything like that. So that is what this tube is used for. It's very, very common. That is the K2 EDTA tube. We just call it the purple tube because it's purple. So. There's that one. That one is next. We've got the pink tube, which is not called the pink tube. This one is actually a blood bank K2 EDTA tube. So it's quite close to the purple tube. What this one does is check for blood types. We also call it ABORH. Literally, it just checks what kind of, what letter of blood you have. So ABO or AB and then the RH factor. So RH would be a positive or a negative. The last tube that I have on my list is pretty much just like the pink tube that I had just shown you. This one is a yellow tube. We use it for blood typing as well. The only difference between the two is that the yellow one here, I'll little shake it a little bit, that one has a whole bunch of this ACD solution B in it. So that is what I've got for you there. So guys, well, I hope you liked my video today. Here are all the tubes that we went over, everything right here. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments box down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I wouldn't know why you haven't subscribed yet. I will catch you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye!